If you want to know the things that help soothe your baby when he or she is sleeping, then you came to the right channel because today I'm going to tell you exactly the six things that I find helpful and effective when it comes to putting your baby at ease when he or she is sleeping. So keep on watching. and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about teething in babies, um, what are the signs and how to soothe them. Our baby's first tooth is such a big event not just for us parents but most especially for our babies. Um, but at the same time this is also uncomfortable and painful for them. But what's good about this is that if you know how to deal with it then the better. So how do you know if your baby is already tipping? Well, you'll notice a swollen and tender gums. Um, your baby is fussy or cries more than usual. Um, there is drooling and then aside from that, um, there is also a change in, their, in his or her sleeping and eating pattern. And last but not the least, there is an increase, slight increase in your baby's temperature. Well, take note of the word that I use there, um, slight increase in your baby's temperature. Um, that means that um, your baby might experience a low-grade fever. A fever of more than 38 degrees Celsius is not anymore related with um, teething. Always remember that every child is different, so your baby might experience or might not experience all of these signs. So how do you soothe a teething baby? Well, aside of course from your TLC, I have here a list of um, the items that I find very useful and effective when putting your baby at ease uh, when they're teething. First on my list is this silicone teether from Kiko. Yes, it's Kiko guys, not Chico. Um, teething babies love to chew. It's very okay to let them. Um, just make sure that it's clean and safe. You can sterilize this every after use. That is why I do not recommend those teethers that have fluid inside because um, baby's teeth tend to be sharp and they might puncture the teether and we are not sure if the water inside is clean and safe. Second on my list is this um, teether clip. Other call this pacifier clip, but I prefer to call it theater clip. Um, this is easy to use. You'll just um, clip this on your baby's clothes. And you're good to go. Um, this holds the theater off the floor, away from germs and bacteria. So no more worrying about loss as well. I got this from Sue Childhood, I guess. It cost 250 pesos for 3 pieces. Third is this silicone finger brush that I use to clean my baby's teeth, tongue, and gums. Um, babies love to chew at this stage, remember? So this is a good, good choice. Um, other use a damp cloth or a gauze, but I prefer this one. Um, I just use it together with this Sans Flu um, Tooth Gel Cleanser, which is fourth on my list. Um, just put a strip on it, and that's it. Just a strip there. That's enough. Um, we just visited Kara's pediatric dentist. She no longer advised us to use this Sans Flu because she wants us to use the paste that has fluoride in it because Kara has four teeth already. Um, I ordered the Aquafresh milk teeth zero to two year old paste but it hasn't arrived yet so in the meantime we are still using the Sans Flow Tooth Gel Cleanser. 
Next is a chilled or frozen fruits and popsicles. Um, if you haven't watched my video yet about how to make a healthy popsicle, you can click the card above or you can check in the description box below. I put the link in the description box below. Yes, cold food helps soothe teething babies. Actually, these are Kara's snack for grab, but I also use this as a teething remedy as well. She loves to eat this because it's true that there is a really a change in their eating patterns. So at least if I give this, um, I am confident that she's receiving nutrients still from fruits. Um, I just follow it up with two shot glasses of water. What we have here are grapes, kiwi, yeah, that's kiwi, and then sherry. Um, we have banana and mango in the counter, but I haven't put it in the ref in the freezer yet. So that's it for the frozen fruit. Last but not the least is this bibdana from Blue Jay Baby PH. Um, this helps your baby to be more comfortable. Um, remember, there will be a lot of drooling. So um, this bibdana helps maintain a dry neck area, thus avoiding irritation. The fabric is so smooth and nice. You can check Blue Jay Baby PH IG account and FB page um, for more cute designs, both for babies and uh, both, sorry, both for girls and boys. Um, teething is uncomfortable and um, painful for our baby, so um, he or she needs mo more of our um, TLC, patience, and time. Uh, it may be rough at first, but um, eventually it will get easier. And if your baby is experiencing diarrhea, vomiting, rushes, high-grade fever, cough, um, these signs and symptoms are not associated with um, teething. Nursing school, our pedia and um, our pediatric dentist told me and assur assured me that it's not associated with um, teething. Um, if uh, other people will tell you, that, oh, it's okay, um, uh, it's really normal. If your baby is teething, they will really experience diarrhea and sort, and sort of things. But no, guys, um, those things are not associated with um, teething. If your baby is experiencing one of those or all of those, then um, you might consider to visit your pediatrician. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And for those who are new here, um, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button below so you won't miss my next video about um, when you should schedule your baby's first dental visit. Um, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, this is Mel. I see you around. Bye!